back guys uh, it's been a while since we've updated a video we've been pretty busy um, had some life changes some unexpected life changes happen and so we just wanted to update y'all on what we have been doing today yeah so it's been three weeks since our last video and it's been even longer than that since we updated you guys on the bus what happened was unexpectedly where we live and work the ranch has sold so we're having to move so We've been a little slow on the bus build, but we're gonna update you guys here in a minute on what we've done so far and future plans. But we are, since we're in the process of moving everything, we have access to the CNC plasma cutter. So before we load that thing up and move that across the state, we are going to replace this Thomas bus emblem with our own emblem. And so our logo is, uh, Buffalo. Buffalo now so we've got a file pulled up and we're gonna cut out out of metal off the plasma cutter uh, a Buffalo right there and then we're going to I'm gonna show y'all a chemical that'll make the how you can change the colors of the metal are we gonna do copper or I haven't really decided yet we'll we still see. have to decide what color the outside bus is kind of first because yeah we want to make sure it flows but before we do anything let's go in there and check out the plasma cutter and get this Cut right it here. out. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, before we cut out our little buffalo for the front, I'm going to go and update you on what we've done on the inside. Last you saw, we removed the seats, and we've done a lot more since then. Um, removed a crap load of screws and rivets. So. Here we go. So we've completely ripped out the entire ceiling insulation. I think it was like a total of 970 screws. I don't even know. And yeah. Then, so each one of these um, holes, each one of these braces right here, had 51 screws. Yeah, and, and every turners. sixth screw is a pop rivet. So we ended up using um, air hammer an air hammer to pop the pop rivets out, which I will show y'all a clip of what we did with that right now. I'll roll that in. All right, so this is the air hammer. And what we're doing is we take the pokey end, <laughs> stick it in there, and you just knock the center of that pop rivet out, which you saw Sheree do earlier. And then what I got is a curved like chisel with a little notch in it. This seems to be working pretty good and what you do is you just get up on the edge of it, give it some pressure and it just blows the head of it right off there. So we'll do one more. Let's see, knocked it right off. Right, we got the insulation out, the ceiling out. Um, we still have to pop the rivets out of the sides but all the screws are out here. That hopefully won't take too long. Yeah, that's gonna be easy, I think. I've cleaned the floor. Now it's just a matter of ripping up this crap which is like super 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 glued like, yeah so some other people i've noticed when they pulled their floors out they have plywood underneath and you could get like a pry bar underneath the plywood right. and really pull all this up but ours is just this rubber coating right. on top of metal right and so we're having a hard time getting it up but that's going to be our tonight project yeah. after we get done moving some stuff hopefully we're going to get in here and scrape this floor but i'll show you me and me and the kids yes uh not yesterday me and the kids the other day got in here and pulled the rest of this junk out over the engine bay in the back and this is a nightmare too getting this crap off yeah but still as far as the metal goes we got the side panels to pull off still yet we got this back part to pull off yep. the, um, and and the, the floors and then this thing right here is the heater hose that pumps uh it pumps from the radiator it pumps a uh, coolant right. all the way up to the driver to the driver's seat where the heater is and then it recirculates it back into the uh the radiator so after we get all this other stuff pulled out i still got to cut these hoses and loop them back into their self, but that'll be a separate video. But I think what we're trying to do is we're gonna get this emblem cut out, we're gonna get this floor hopefully scraped up, and then that'll probably be the last 
uh, thing we get to do thing we get to do before we move and so I don't want to I don't want to get too crazy right before we move just in case something happens well because so. everything else that's next is gonna be like removing windows and putting the subfloor in which we don't want to put the subfloor in until we get the windows out and clean them yeah. so it's nothing that's like super quick and easy yeah so we're gonna get these windows out eventually reseal those paint the frames of them black so they're not this galvanized looking color but anyways, that's sort of an update on what we've done so far. And let's go in the shop and get this emblem cut out. All right, all right guys, so excuse all the mess. Obviously we're moving all this stuff and my boss was a car guy. So he had all kinds of engines and all kinds of car parts and stuff that we're having to move. But this is the little CNC plasma cutter right here. It's a plasma cam. And um, I kind of taught myself how to use it. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but I've taught myself enough to do some basic stuff. So while we still have access to it and before we load it in this big trailer right here, we're gonna go ahead and cut out this design right here. Can you go ahead and put that on? <laughs> All right. <coughs> so I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, you can barely see it, but it's just a buffalo. It's just kind of our logo. Um, so we are going to cut like that. To roam. <laughs> yeah, because we want a home where we the, can roam, buffalo roam. The audience is here. Why aren't you looking over there? I'm looking at you. <laughs> you do the honors. Hit the cut button. buffalo we just got to knock this out and then I'll clean this up with a grinder and then I'll show y'all um, how we can stain this metal it's pretty cool little chemical process but right let's get this knocked out and this ground up and cleaned up and then see what it's gonna look like okay black on it 
Um, we want to kind of patina it, and so we figure it might make it look more like hair and realistic. So we'll yep. see what it looks like. We can so, always grind it back off. Right. So she used, uh, in case you were wondering, an angle grinder right there. She was using a 40 grit flap disc on that, and so this Love this thing. This chemical. She got, pull that thing up there real quick. Pull it up there. So this chemical that we're about to stain this metal with, the shinier you get the metal, or cleaner, I should say, you get the metal, the more the effect will pop and be shiny like that. So if you put every, make everything like a mirrored finish, this clear. stuff that we're putting on is going to be a copper effect. It'll look like really shiny copper. We're Like Sheree said, though, we're going for more of a patinaed looking copper. So we left a little bit of the you know, oxidation or whatever that's called on there. So we're gonna go next door real quick and I'm gonna show you all the process of how we make this thing pop a little bit. We'll make them look hairy. 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 <laughs> all right guys, so Sheree got this all cleaned up for us really nice and I just wiped it off clean with just uh, a paper towel. The stuff we're using is this, it's called Steel Effects and they make this in a bunch of different um, colors and stuff. This one's the Copper Effects. They make it in rust, um, fire, a gold color, uh, a blued look where it looks like the metal's been heated up with a torch or something. But anyways, uh, I've already got a little bit in my spray bottle. So if you want to come over here, I'll show you. What we got to do is we spray this down and you'll start to see it change. And then I'll rinse it really quick and then I have to blow it off with the air and that'll what will make it stop doing what it's doing. So we're just going to Make sure our sprayer works. Put a mist on here. You can see it turning. And Hi. as you can see, you can see it's turning this copper color. So cool. And he's got hair. And so now I will go ahead and rinse this off with the water. Dry her off. Perfect. Yeah, you want to put it in the sunlight yeah. so we can kind of see it. Actually, it would work better in the in the shade. It's too bright. Okay. Trying to see it as much. There we go. You can really see the copper tone and that black showing through, like he's fuzzy. Yeah, and so we wanted to leave some of that in there just to kind of give it that worn look and just kind of make his body look a little bit darker. But overall, I think it came out really good. And the coolest thing about this is we can either clear coat over this and keep it like it is, and that'll preserve it. Or if we don't like the effect, we can get the grinder back out again, re-grind it all, and go with a different color. Right. So if we decide to change this later, we can. It's not like It's not like a paint where it's really hard to get off. All we gotta do is regrind it and put another effect. And you can even put other effects on top of it. So if I wanted to add some bluing, I could just kind of haze the outer edge and make this look blued or whatever you wanna do. But yeah, it's called Steel FX FX. And uh, let's go see what it's gonna kinda look like. I'll pop a hole in the bus. <laughs> I'm gonna try not. I don't know about that. Okay. Now, how do you knock out them little nipples? I'll get them out later. Uh, good thing we're painting this beast. I'll get them nipples out later. Yeah, it's got a tan line. Hey, permanent tattoo. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get those out. All right, let's see what it'll look like. Bum, bum, bum. Of course, obviously, it's not going to be yellow. But, you hey. Idea. What's it look like? I like you. A lot, like a lot. Zoom in on it a little bit if you can. 
so cool. Got a hairy buffalo. <laughs> that sounds bad. But yeah, so that's what we wanted to get done real quick. That way we can feel load. like we've done something. <laughs> yeah, something fun we could do because we just haven't been able to do anything lately except for move stuff. But hey, we celebrate your birthday in the bus. Yeah, Cherie gave me a birthday party in the bus. She decorated the bus for me party when we bus. came out here and worked on it. So that was cool. And uh, I'll show y'all a picture of that, what she did. And uh, anyways, I think we're going to try to do some more work tonight after it gets dark. We're going to continue moving stuff right now, loading up this trailer. So we're going to take a break and then hopefully tonight we'll pick up uh, and we'll be removing this floor. And if something happens though and I, we don't get to that today, we will see y'all really soon. We apologize for no uploads lately. Let us get moved and situated and then I promise we'll be back to working on this a lot so we got a lot of good projects coming up and anyways hopefully we'll see you tonight yeah bend it pop huh? it